Hi, my name is Aaron with Ag Diesel Solutions. Uh, we're out getting ready to do an install on a customer's 2016 Ford F-250 Power Stroke. This is the 6.7 liter Power Stroke. Uh, it's a pretty popular module. Uh, very, very simple install, which we'll touch base on here shortly. Uh, the module part number on this is 22200. This again is our truck edition module. Uh, go over a couple things, just make sure on the sole connection on the injector plug, be sure it's tight. Uh, we're going to go over uh, a few steps as well to make sure you've got it good and secure, as well as uh, running the harness up to the firewall and keeping it safe and away from heat. So what we're going to talk about is the first place to install the module. On this module, all you're going to find, other than the dial for the settings, of course, all the way counterclockwise is stock. One click is 30 horse. Two clicks is 60 horse. And three clicks is 90 horsepower. Of course, you're going to see your best performance going down the road as far as for fuel efficiency and horsepower in the 90 horsepower setting. Now, what we advise is that this is not in the installation manual, but what we advise. From a consumer standpoint, if you're pulling anything or towing anything over 12,000 pounds, drop it down to the 60 horsepower setting. This will eliminate any uh, strenuous load off the drivetrain or cause any fuel pressure issues. Uh, so we'll also go over is our main connection points. This is the fuel injector plug portion of our harness. This is the only portion on the harness itself. These are three pin Bosch connectors. Of course, on our harness, we've got the male end and the female end. So what you'll see down here, the location of this plug, or the injector plug itself, is down by this intercooler boot, right below by the alternator. You can see it in there, it's a cast piece. It'll have that plug coming out. I don't know if I can put my finger down in here where you can see or not, but it's right down in there. And as I said, it's right down by the alternator. You can see it sticking out. Uh, so what we'll do is we will first remove the female portion of the factory harness. Of course it's got a pop tab like our harness does as well and it releases. Now a common uh, problem we see as far as having problems with this, customers will call in and say, well I installed your harness and I installed your module, the truck cranked hard for a couple rounds and then it fired up and it either misses or it runs around. If this is the case, then this plug, your female plug coming off of our harness is 180 degrees the opposite way on the factory injector plug. Uh, this can go in both ways, so if that does occur, just take it, unplug it, flip it around. Uh, there's no set way coming from the factory where I can tell you whether uh, the factory plug is going to be uh, on top, bottom, left, or right because it's threaded right there, so it could come out either way. We'll just be sure to do that. Check for that if that does occur. So just go down, put the female portion of our harness into that injector plug. You'll hear it click. And then we'll take the male portion of our harness and plug into the female portion of the factory harness that you unplug from that uh, fuel injector port. There. Okay, everything clicked in. It's kind of tight, but you can see with a flashlight you can also feel fairly easily with your hands. So now that that is plugged in, we will take and run this up. Uh, generally where we see the best place to put this is, if you want to leave the switch underneath the hood, that's fine. Or if you want to run it in the cab, that's fine. There's plenty of length there, but most guys like to leave it underneath the hood to keep it concealed and uh, keep it out of the way in the cab so nobody sees it. So you can run it off of this drip tank hose for the radiator. You can run it up along this hose here, as well as with the module. And on this uh, specific application where we're gonna mount this uh, turn dial, the switch for the horsepower settings is right on the back side of this drip tank. Just take you some zip ties and mount it there. And then we'll take the module and we'll actually mount it down by this uh, uh, hood um, solenoid here. So that pretty well uh, completes the install for this 22200 module on the 6.7 power stroke. As I said, this is one of our much easier ones. 
you also find that the majority of our truck edition modules are fairly easy to install whereas the ag, as well as the ag edition modules. Uh, so I want to thank this uh, customer on buying another great product from us. Uh, be sure to check us out on Facebook and YouTube. We've got several videos uploaded on there for you guys to check out and see how our products install. Uh, we want to thank everybody again for watching us. If you guys have any questions, feel free to call our hotline. That's listed on our website. And remember to uh, perform smart, perform efficient, perform with Ag Diesel Solutions Truck Edition module. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.